Uh, good morning, guys. My name is Terry Hamilton. Um, I'm from Walterboro, South Carolina, a very small town. Uh, I joined the military when I was uh, 17. My mom had to, had to actually sign for me to enter the military. Uh, I spent 23 years of, of military service, uh, starting as E1, as enlisted. I worked my way up to senior enlisted, and I crossed over as an officer. And, and now I'm here. I'm here doing training, uh, and it's been very rewarding. Um, and this training has complemented my military career with the attention to detail that they teach us in the military and being prideful for your work and, and striving to do better. And my military experience has further augmented my experience here at this class. So I, I, I really encourage, uh, mainly my vets I'm talking to, is to look into a, a program that's going to augment, that's going to complement your experience and your skill sets that you already have. So, and the military has been good to me, it's been great to me, and made me the person of who I am today, both the pluses and the negative, it has made me to where I am today. So I'm thankful for being here, I'm thankful for my service, and I thank you vets for your service and the sacrifice you and your family is making for the betterment of our country. California, Costa Mesa, at the Training Institute, the Den King Training Institute. Um, I've been here a month, uh, Friday I'm leaving, uh, I chose the Ding King because I simply Googled it. I was looking for collision repair and, and Ding King came in, so I studied the concept and the market for Ding King, which is a great market, that's why I chose this school. Now the school in California is the only school that offers to take your VA benefits. Now I recommend if you use your VA benefits, maximize it by taking all the classes and the courses because your business plan is gonna adjust itself the more you learn. So I chose this location, one, because the only one that accepts GI Bill so far. And I chose this school because, uh, of course, California location. But the skill sets that I'm learning is transferable from your military career. As far as, like I said before, attention to detail, pride in your work. But mainly, I want to work for myself. I don't want to work for anyone. I want to work for myself to, for the pride, the ownership, and passing this down to different generations, which is my kids. It's a, it's a marketable skill set that you can use. So I not only chose a Ding King, I chose his specific uh, occupation because the man is where the money's at. So um, if you think about coming to the course, I recommend not doing a short two weeks, which is still good, but maximize the VA and maximize your resources by taking all the classes, the longest that you're able to stay and, and learn these skill sets and go out and, and make money and be prideful and represent the company, represent yourself and, and, and America. So it, it's, very, uh, it's a good, lucrative, remarkable career. So I, I recommend if you want a sense of ownership and pride, this is the place that you need to be as they've been good to me. And what's also important that when you leave, you still have a contact, you still have continuity. There, there's the YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, there's a phone call that you can call these, these wonderful instructors and they're still teaching you. So your money goes a long way if you invest in it. What you put into it is what you're gonna get out. If you do hard work, you're gonna make money, gain pride, and do greater things to our, not only your family, but also to the community. So I highly recommend, if, if there's something that you're interested in, do your research and, and execute. Execute, follow through, and, and educate yourself to become a better, Technician. This is an art and it takes time and practice and, and, and patience to make it to where you need to be. So I strongly encourage you. It's been great to me. Um, and, and I'm leaving Friday, but I still have phone numbers and I'm still in contact with instructors to help me uh, perfect this trade. And I thank you and, um, and uh, welcome. Come and explore the difference. You serve your country. Now it's time to do things for yourself and your family. And this is the avenue that you can take to not only better yourself financially, but give you the self-esteem and, the, and the, uh, uh, the accountability, not only to your family, but to yourself. So uh, thank you for this time. Thank you, Dan King, and I will be in touch. Now, how to apply for your GI Bill. If you've been in the military any length of time, you should know that. If you don't, go to va.gov and, and look at the schools that you apply for. But I caution you, a lot of vets go out and they get these degrees and, and they're not marketable. So they've wasted their VA, VA benefits. They have the education, but they're not making money. They're not marketable. So you want to do your own research, find a, a even if it's not gang, Ding King, find something that's marketable where you can make your money. I chose Ding King because it's marketable. 
I, I get to be an independent owner. I work myself as an art. There, there's energy and pride in the work. So um, if you don't want to go on the website, uh, if you're still in, and talk to your representative. Uh, there are VA reps at the hospitals. They're online, they're a phone call away. And what's really easy for me is I talk to the administration here and you contact the liaison, they know the details and the intricacies that's involved with the VA process. So you don't really, it's no brainer, you don't have to think about it. You can call the school, talk to the administrator, she's gonna guide you through all the steps. Uh, she's gonna help you with the housing, the finances, and, and the local area, the rental cars, and all that, all those issues. So you have the money. What I, what I caution you is to make sure you choose correctly. Meaning this, um, if they offer all these courses with uh, detail, window rest, uh, windshield repair, uh, headlight restoration, paint correction, ceramic coating, they offer all these things, but those skill sets is not only perishable, you have to stay here as long as you can to get all the techniques. Don't worry about being perfect, get the techniques down, then you can go out and look for perfection and work with the, with the instructors to help you reach your goals. So when you go through the VA process, they have streamlined it and made it really easy. We have now the 9-11, what most of you probably qualify for. And that 9-11 is going to have a greater latitude and more money for you to invest. So choose wisely. If you're going to use your VA bill for marketable skill, uh, make sure you commit to it. Make sure you put the time and the energy and the dedication. If you've been in the military, you already know how to do this. That's why a job like this is very within your skill sets. You already have the techniques, the, the, the attention to detail, coming to work on time and dedicating yourself to something. So you already have it. So when you choose, if you choose this, uh, um, this career field, try to maximize your stay. And California is kind of where it's at right now because they're only, they're only accepting, there's not a lot of thinking you have to do as far as processing your claim. You have a representative here already that will guide you through a, a, a fairly seamless process. So um, everything you need is already here. So I, I strongly encourage you, if there's something that you're interested in, stay as long as you can. The VA process, again, is very easy. The things are in place already. All you have to be showed, go to, all you have to do is show up, and you get paid to show up. So kind of a no-brainer. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing you. Hi, my name is James, Master Instructor of the Ding King Training Institute here in Southern California. Now, what is paintless dent repair? Paintless dent repair is the art of meticulously massaging the metal until the dent is fully back to its original form. Now, like learning to play a musical instrument, it requires a great deal of commitment in order to achieve quality results. Learning plus patience plus practice plus more practice equals quality repairs. Like with anything new that you're learning, be patient. Oftentimes, frustration will hinder your progress. PDR is a process of removing door dings, hail, and other minor dents from a vehicle without sanding, filling, or painting. It is achieved by using specialized tools to gain access to the backside of the panel and meticulously massaging the damaged area until the dent is repaired. Painless dent repair is achieved by locating the tip of your dent tool in the lowest part of the dent. By exerting the proper amount of pressure in the right location, you will eventually bring the dent back to its original form. Now, if you will, visualize a flat piece of aluminum foil paper pulled tightly in all four corners. Now, take your fingernail and drag slowly back and forth on the bottom side. On the top side, you will see a slightly raised area, leaving an impression. Now, that slightly raised area would be similar to what you would see as you were dragging your tool back and forth on the bottom side of the panel. The only difference is we are relying on a light source or a reflection to bend and show us the exact location of the tip of that tool. It's like the example of the foil paper. Watch as I apply pressure with the tool. Notice how the tool begins to make a small protrusion, creating a high area in the light, causing the light to pinch, showing exactly where the tip of the tool is located. Now, we are going to attempt to find the tip of the tool in the center of the dent, which would be located right here. As I apply pressure, I move the tool slowly toward the center of the dent, downward. I am passing the dent up 
to show you where the tip of the tool is on the bottom of the dent. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag the tool back up toward the center and slow it down once I've found the center. Now watch as I start to exert a little bit more pressure and notice how the dent starts to expand and contract equally both in depth and diameter. As I continue to push, I am slowly moving the tool from left to right and top to bottom, overlapping each push. And there we have it. Our reflection is nice and straight and back to its original form. Now I want to explain a, a little bit of what they teach at the school. They have different packages they're going to give you and one of the initial packages is called PDR. And that PDR process, I must warn you, it is not easy. Just like boot camp wasn't easy, your special training wasn't easy, deployments wasn't easy, nothing was easy. You have to earn that and work for it and you already have the skill sets to be successful, so that's okay. So when you get here, it's gonna be frustrating, you're gonna make mistakes. Uh, the process of the PDR is, if you have a dent in this hood, your job is to go access that dent from a panel, from the tail light, any point of access, you access that dent and you slowly push that low spot up to a higher spot. And you use, uh, this is one of the many tools that you're gonna get in your package, you're gonna get all this stuff the, the VA is going to pay for it. These tools are very expensive and you're getting everything you need to walk out. To, there's a turnkey operation. When you leave, you're going to have the tools that you need to, to execute your job. But you need the technique and the a, and a, and a, and a knowledge in order to do that. This tool is used to access the panel and slowly push that low point up. And also use this tool, which is a tap down. And you tap that tool down. You tap it down to a level surface and you make it to original original factory specs or close as possible. That's saving the customer money. Instead of replacing the whole hood, you replace the hood for about a third of the cost. So you're making money, the customer's happy. So that process of PDR, it is not easy. Every day you get better. Some days it's a wash, you don't do well at all. Other days you're great. So I spent the first two weeks in doing PDR, then I went into detailing headlight restoration, um, wheel restoration, carpet cleaning, and all that other accessories that within the detailing package, which is a great package in itself. And in that, tool, in, in that uh, training, you get all the supplies that you need to do detailing. The PDR part is, is very lucrative if you're good and you're fast. I just got back to PDR after being three weeks away, and I got back and I found that I'm a lot better than when I was before. So you put the time, energy, effort, patient into it. You can able to make more money in a short amount of time with PDR. So that is kind of the, the, the goal that you, that you need. Um, and each business plan is gonna change. Mine's changed four times. I went from detailing to wheel restoration. That's why it's important to stay as long as you can so you can figure out your niche. You gotta think about your body and the stress it costs for hours bending over, can you handle that? You have to think about, do you have a passion in, in cleaning and making things look good? Maybe detailing is what you want. So there's a wide plethora of things you can do to be lucrative and, and find what matches your passion. And I found mine after being here this long. So this is the hammer, the tap down. This is the bar you're using to push the dent up and you're massaging that dent back to its true surface. That takes a lot of time. When these instructors will teach you the techniques and how to use your lighting to cast a shadow to repair the dent. So that is your top part, that's just your tap down. When we're dealing with other low areas, use your glue gun, and this is a static puller. You basically take glue, put it at the end of this tab, you find your low spot, you place the glue, you place this unit on top, and you pull or massage and pull that dent back up to the original 
point. If you get too high, you use your tap down and you complete the process until you gain perfection. And this course teaches perfection. Instructors are very detailed and it will show you errors and it will show you a mistake. So this has been good to me. I'm sure it will be good to you, but you have to find where is your passion. It can be in this, it can be in headlight restoration, it can be the auto detailing. Auto detailing is not a $40 job we do here. You spend all day working on this vehicle, bringing it back up to a higher standard, making your, uh, making your customer feeling that they have a new vehicle from the smell, the appearance, the paint correction, the headlights, the windshield, the dings. It's a full package that you're doing for them. Your job is to go back to whatever town you're from, find your market, find your price range, and find out what works for you. This place has set the standard, and it's for you to go out and, and execute what you've learned, and most importantly, find joy and comfort in what you do. You're not deployed anymore. You're home with your families and friends. Right now, it's time to invest in yourself, invest in your community, invest in your family, and this is a good place to start. Hope you see you here. Good day, vets. Again, my name is Terry Hamilton. I'm at the to Den King in, in, uh, in California. And, and this is the, the main hub. This is where the president um, resides. His office is located here. We're in a state of, of the art classroom. Uh, the technology, the, the, the media is perfect. The Instagram, the Facebook, the YouTube, all that stuff is really to help, help you become better. Uh, uh, our president, uh, Todd, he's here. He's usually here every day. When I first met him, a very dynamic person, very friendly person. The atmosphere is friendly. Everyone treats you like family. He has no sense of issues and, and makes the learning environment a lot better. So Todd's very successful in the business. He will teach you marketing. He will show you strategies and things that you can use to make your business succeed. If you succeed, the Ding King, Todd, everyone else succeed. So they're, they're, they're dedicated to your success. I advise you to use not only Todd, but every staff here to use them for what they're here for. That is to make you succeed. Todd has laid down foundation. He's laid down marketing strategies. He's laid down leadership styles. He's laid down a personality, a dynamic personality that makes you want to learn and makes you want to come to a higher level. And that, that is not like the military where you have impersonal direct action here you have personal direct action, people who's compassionate about for you to succeed. So what's gonna be good for you because you left that military environment and you enter not only a community, a family of people that's trying to make uh, the business grow and, and to encourage our vets and help them as they go through this transitional process, which is hard. The longer you've been in the military, the harder the transition is the civilian life. Todd makes that really easy. He makes us comfortable and he adds humor to it. So this will be a good choice for you, not only professionally and personally, it's gonna give you a sense of pride and leadership and, and to teach people and, and treat them how they like to be treated. And that's the epitome of what Todd does. And that's what I appreciate about the president and all the instructors here. And um, I'm leaving and I'm getting ready to uh, uh, lay the foundation for my business. Um, I, I started with um, one thought and throughout the month that business plan has shifted four different times and it's still evolving, but I've zeroed down at exactly what I want to do and that's going to be um, um, auto detailing because that's my personal passion. I found love in that and that's going to be the catalyst of my business and as I learn, I'm going to incorporate PDR um, and, and that's my business plan. Here's going to look a little different uh, uh, depending on your age or your, your, your zeal to go out and do things. And uh, I recommend um, uh, maximizing the time so you can figure out what you actually want to do. For me, auto detailing, uh, I've already tailored my price and my marketing strategy to the town I'm located. And as I built up my foundation, I'm going to move into areas and I'm going to branch out. That is my plan now, but uh, a failure to plan is a plan to fail. And that, that plan is going to evolve over time. It's going to zero in on what you really enjoy doing. Uh, the money is not the supreme thing for me, it's the, it's the enjoyment in what I do. So that's my business plan. Uh, the Ding King has been great to me, they've given me the skill sets needed to be successful and most importantly, uh, they, they follow up with you. They're going to give you contact information, websites, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, uh, a phone call away, a text message, there's always someone here to assist you with your questions. 
and it will be not to your benefit not to use that follow-on training. It's just as important as the training that you hear now. So I, I thank the president, Todd, I thank the instructors. Um, it's a bittersweet, but there is a Ding King in South Carolina, Greenville, and I will be visiting them for help and guidance. So um, I recommend you use all your resources, the time, and don't just leave and graduate. Make sure you follow up and get a part of the, the, the family of people who's making a difference in people's lives by giving them a vehicle that they're proud to drive in. And, and that's my mission, that's my task to you, is to find out what you want, uh, put a business strategy together, uh, talk to the instructors, and they will give you insight to avoid pitfalls and mistakes that their possibly has made. So it's a community, this is a community thing. It's not just any military school, they train you and they send you in a way. There's follow up and there's compassion with the instructors because they love what they do. So I think the Den King, I think the president, I think the secretaries and all the people that's involved in this process, because it's not one person, it's the totality of all people that become successful. And I thank you, I'm looking forward to going out and do things. I'm motivated and I want you to get motivated too. So welcome. Now, Terry, tell me about your experience here at the Ding King. How was the facility? How was the training? You know, how did it go overall for you? Oh, one thing we, we recognize in the military, if you have a place that's clean, organized, well-labeled, the federal rules and laws and people feel safe that they're entering a, a good business, that's an ind indicator that they're, they're, the media, the structured delivery, all that stuff's probably going to be good. And I was very impressed by uh, specifically your professional, everyone's professional, uh, sticking to tasks, keeping on the schedule, being at work on time. The first day is very important because, hey, if the instructor is late, that reflects the whole entire program. So mm -hmm. you're on time. That's very big in the military, and it shows a lot of dedication to the work. So the facility is great. The, the media is outstanding, and um, it, it's, it's, it's added a lot to the curriculum by, by the professional delivery. The delivery is very important, so it's, it's been very impressive. Good. Now your your painless den repair training we went through. Uh, it was about three and a half weeks of painless den repair training, correct? Right, right. And and you know in the beginning we struggled a little bit. We had some issues. I, I recommended your glasses. Exactly. You know, exactly. And, and we put those on. Tell me a little bit how how that actually changed and allowed you to see it because working with the glasses and not you know for a couple of days it, it totally made a, a difference for you, right? And, right. Right. Um. You. Uh. Whoever comes going to have the same issue is the this. It's, it's imperative, and James tried to hammer this in my head, but I have to go through the mistakes and try to avoid my mistakes. It's very important. That first initial push is important. My issue was locating the push. Either I'm going too far back or too far forward because my depth provision, like you told me, my, the perception of my depth was off. So I went to uh, the, the uh, Walmart, bought a set of glasses, and I've been pushing them out like 80% faster now. Well, it was, was a two-day job and, and still messing up. It turned into a few hours, and, and I'm getting it. And I'm getting better every day. So you got to see it. You can't, you can't repair it. You have to see it. If you can't see it, you can't fix it. Uh, exactly. Now, we went through you know, PDR, and we did a different, you know, different types of dents and brace and open dings with you and, and creases and so on. And, you know, on the practice hoods, and we got you on the vehicle. And, and just share a little bit of, you know, with me about how the difference between working on a practice piece and now working on a real, you know, real cars. Well, when you go to a hood on a stand, you're not that intimidated because you, you can pretty much mess it up. But when you have a, someone's, uh, when you have a customer's car, it's a different story. So I, it was an intimidation factor, but I'm sure you guys would have corrected any problems I uh, made, of course. But I was able to work my way through. Uh, like I said, it is intimidating because now you're, you're out in the field, you're working on people's stuff, there's a liability, there's issues. So you got to kind of know what you're doing. You can't be out there 10, 10 hours on a 30 minute job. So I was concerned with the first three, well, a couple of weeks of PDR, and I went on to uh, detailing and some other things. And I was concerned that I, I don't think I'm able to do this. But when I came back, that's why your extending time here as long as you can is important. When I came back with those soft skills, with glasses, I've, yesterday I pulled four things out. And that's like unheard of for me. So my confidence level is building up, mm -hmm. and I'll add that to my portfolio of things to do. But um, like I said, I find my passion, but I'm going to continue to do PDR, but you will get better in time. Good, and you can definitely see that in the, you know, the progress in your work that you're doing. Yes, you know? yes. Now, you mentioned ceramic coating and, and paint correction. You, you, you did you know, paint and center repair, ceramic coating, paint correction. 
um, wheel restoration, windshield repair, odor and headlight. Now, these are all things also that are going to you know benefit you in your yes, in your business, yes. right? Yes. Now, what is it you do prior to to coming here? I know you're a, a veteran. Mm -hmm. um, you served in our you know in the military, and and you decided to exercise and use your post 9/11 GI Bill. Right, right. Right. So, what is it that you know you were doing after the service before you got here? What what was your your experience with any of this stuff? Were, were you doing it before? Uh, no, I didn't even know what painless dent repair was. I went to, uh, after service, I went and got my degree in automotive and diesel, my associates in both. And, and my job was, my issue was going into automotive repair. I worked for a trucking company and a construction company. I maintained all their equipment. Um, it was just too laborious for me. And, and I didn't have the satisfaction of working for myself. So that was my main goal, being self-employed and having a skill set that's going to be marketable. Mechanic is marketable. But I, I just didn't enjoy it anymore. So I was had a little bit left of my GI Bill. I Googled it. I was looking for collision repair, but the dent king showed up. And I'm like, what is, what is painless dent repair? So I looked into that and I found out it's a more marketable feel than your collision because a lot of people's going toward this low overhead type of business. And I can be an entrepreneur at the same time. So I chose that. And I wanted to maximize my GI Bill while I'm here because it was my last go around. So um, I've been very pleased. And you're going to realize there's a lot of skill sets in this thing. These, these guys take us from the top of the vehicle to the bottom, all throughout the exterior and interior. It's not a mechanical thing. It's, it's, it's an appearance thing. And, and, and that's, there, there's a lot to do. There's a lot of different business plans I've gone through in a short amount of time. And I've kind of zeroed down on what I want to do. So... Um, it's, it's been good, it's, it's, it's marketable, and I can, I can market it. So. Now, now, how would you say that the other, adding on the other systems to the PDR course would, would benefit somebody else who's coming through and just thinking about only doing painless dent repair? How, how does the other systems going to, how are they going to benefit you, or how would they benefit somebody? The other systems are huge because if you find your knack or your passion, you can probably be more, you probably make more money. To face it, we're, we're kind of in it for the money, but also we're in it for the, for the gratification of your job. If you're not coming to a job and enjoy what you're doing, you're kind of shortchanging yourself. So I found things within the whole arsenal of PDR that I can diversify. My main thing would be cleaning, but if I see something need to be repaired, like a windshield or, or tire, I say, hey, I can take care of that for you. I have those soft skills and that training to be able to make more money and make the customers happy at the end of the day. So it's very important. Now, if you're focused on PDR, go for it. But you're, you're kind of cheating yourself if you don't get the whole package. If you can afford it, if you have the time, get the whole package. And you, you want to be more diversified. And, and that diversification is what I'm seeking. And, and through the different courses, every week I learn something that's deeper, more financial stability, and diversify um, and make your options open. Guy might not have a dent on his car, but he has a cracked windshield or damaged rims. He might want to get that repair. You have those skills to make that repair. Hey guys, well, we just got through hearing from Terry. Terry came through again. Like I said, he decided to exercise his post 9 11 GI Bill and come through. You know, recently the Dinking was approved to start accepting uh, the post 9 11 GI Bill along with all the other chapters and, and, and vocational rehabilitation. Now, if you have any questions on that stuff, so feel free to reach out to us. You know, but before that, we want to thank everybody who's been following us. Make sure you spread the word. Make sure you share our videos. You know, you continue to like all of our videos and check them out. We try to keep you guys as up to date as possible. And through this, it gives you guys an insight to what we do every day here at the Ding King. Okay, these videos aren't aren't you know fake videos. These aren't paid actors. They're not scripted. These are actually real guys' experience. You know, dealing with their lives and and talking about how these experiences and these new courses are going to change their life. Uh, and like I said, again, if you guys are out there and you have any questions. You know, and, and you're just tuning in to us, reach out to us on this video, you know, post a question in the comments. You can give us a call at 1-800-304-3464. You can reach us on the web at thedingking.com. Head on over to social media, follow us, follow us on Facebook at the Ding King Training Institute or on our official Instagram page, Official Ding King. And again, here from the Ding King, Southern California, myself, you know, and Terry, we thank you guys for following us and, uh, you know, hope that we'll be seeing you guys very soon.